Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh has had many wonderful adventures. And here's one of them right now. Spring had arrived, and this was a day that Pooh had been looking forward to for some time now. So as the sun rose, he was already awake More honey. and had a particularly bouncy bounce to his step. <clears throat> Pooh! Wake up! Pooh! Oh, bother. I was having the most wonderful dream. I'm sure, but it's time to wake up. Remember, you have a very important thing to do today. Uh, like what? I'm sure it will come to you. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> what could be more important than a little something to eat? <laughs> or perhaps a little large or something? <laughs> Oh, not to worry, Tommy. I always know what to do. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. He fills it with things that are sweet. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. I'm never forgetting to eat. When it is growly and gummy, the search for the honey is on. The poo has a knack for finding a snack unless all the honey is... Gone. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. No need for the tummy to fret. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. He knows what his tummy must get. Don't worry, my round little chummy. I'm hearing your ravenous plea. When there is no honey, the poo takes the tummy wherever the honey will be. My friends are out there with honey to spare, and they will take care of my tummy. And me. Bother. <gasps> Pooh did in fact take care of his tummy. And what did he do? Well, that is an entirely different story for an entirely different day. All in a place called a hundred acre wood.